Greetings everyone! I'm Jerlyn Marzonia, your presenter for today's topic which is Deferred Annuity. What is Deferred Annuity? Deferred Annuity is an annuity in which the first payment interval is not made at the beginning nor end of the payment interval, but at a later date. So here's the formula in finding the present value of the Deferred Annuity. P is equal to R times 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative K plus N over I minus R times 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative K over I. Where R is the regular payment, I is the interest rate per period, N is the number of payment, and K is the number of conversion period of the deferral. So let's try this example. Benny bought a house to be paid 2500 every 3 months for 10 years, deferred for 18 months. Find the present value and the period of deferral if money is worth 10% interest compounded quarterly. First, we're going to look for the period of deferral. In this situation, it is deferred for 18 months, which is equivalent to one and a half year. So we're going to put here year one and year two. And in between year one and year two, we're going to write one and a half year. And then it is compounded quarterly. So which means every year is divided by four. So now we're going to count the period of deferral. One, two, three four, five, and six. Therefore, our period of deferral is six. In this situation, these are the given. The regular payment is 2,500. J is equals to 10%, which is equivalent to 0 0.1. M is four, T is 10. So to look for the number of payment, we're gonna multiply M and T. Four times 10 is equals to 40. In the interest rate per period, we're going to use the formula J divided by M. So 0 0.1 divided by 4 is equal to 0 0.025. And our period of deferral is 6. Now we're going to substitute all the given values to our formula. It will now become P equals 2500 times 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.025 raised to negative 6 plus 40 divided by 0 0.025 minus 2,500 times 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.025 raised to negative 6 divided by 0 0.025. Now let's add up 1 plus 0 0.025 which is equal to 1.025 and 6 plus 40 which is equivalent to negative 46 since there is a negative sign in the front. Now we're going to compute 1 minus 1.025 raised to negative 46 which is equal to 0 0.679 and 1 minus 1.025 raised to negative 6, which is equal to 0 0.138. Now we're going to divide 0 0.679 and 0 0.025, which is equal to 27.16 and 0 0.138 divided by 0 0.025, which is equal to 5.52. Let us now multiply 2,527.16, which is equal to 67,900, and 2,500 times 5.52, which is equal to 13,800. Subtract 67,900 and 13,800, we got the present value of 54,100. Therefore, the period of deferral is 6 and the present value is 54,100 pesos. Now, 
Here's another exercise for you to practice solving the present value of deferred annuity. Try this. Mr. Cruz decided to sell their farm and to deposit the fund in a bank. After computing the interest, they learned that they may withdraw 480,000 pesos yearly for 8 years, starting at the end of 6 years when it is time for him to retire. How much is the fund deposited if the interest rate is 5% compounded annually? Thank you for watching. See you next time.